what is up prince squad i am back with another video and today i'm doing a video on something that a lot of you guys have been having questions about and that is how do you cure ink if you do not have a conveyor dryer so i have three ways for you today so i'm gonna uh, go ahead and get into the video and show you the three ways that you can use to cure your ink if you do not have a conveyor dryer before i actually get into uh, the video I do want to let you know that these ways will work whether you're using water-based ink or plastisol ink and if you you know if you're doing it with water-based ink there's other things that you can do also I'm gonna try to incorporate both of them into it so the, the first thing that I'm gonna uh, show you guys that you're gonna need is actually right here and this right here is a heat thermometer and you can get these for around ten dollars you can some of them cost even more but a basic one this is just the your basic infrared heat thermometer and i'll have a link to some down below in case you guys are interested so this is one thing that you will need for sure to you know to cure your shirts the first way that you can cure your shirts is using the a heat gun right here this is a heat gun this is this one is made by the company Wagner but there are several companies that make them and this one is a basic one you know it only has the off low and high settings you can you, you actually use a heat gun to cure your shirts along with the infrared thermometer now using a heat gun to cure your shirts would not be the ideal way because it would be very time consuming using a heat gun but I mean it can get the job done if you don't have anything else so that's the first thing that you can use is a heat gun this next thing that's number two on the list a lot of people actually have these and that is a heat press because a lot of people actually start out using the heat press so um, you can actually use a heat press similar to the one that I have right here to cure water-based and plastisol inks now if you're curing water-based inks what you're going to want to do is either let your shirts air dry or you can dry them using your heat gun or a hair dryer and then you're going to want to press them for about 30 seconds using your heat press so um, that's one way that you could do it and um, you, the temperature that you want it to be for plastisol ink is going to be 320 degrees so with the plastisol inks you would have to use a heat gun to dry the ink before you can actually cure it using the heat press but that is you know that will work but yeah once you dry the ink you can cure it with the the heat press and it won't mess it up now if you cure in plastisol ink the plastisol ink won't be as textured as it is like when you print it on your shirt it's going to really just be flat when you cure it with the heat press but it will work and it won't mess it up you will need something like a teflon cover or or you could also use parchment paper to put over your design when you press it now the third thing that you can use to cure your shirts if you do not have a conveyor dryer is actually this unit right here which is a flash dryer now right here this flash dryer that I have is actually an infrared flash dryer and as you see you know it does not have the oven coils beneath it as you can check it out right here but using this flash dryer all you would have to do is lay your shirt out like on your platen such as this and then move it beneath your flash dryer like that and using your using your heat gun you would want to make sure that the temperature of your full design gets up to 320 degrees in order for it to cure those are the three ways that you cure t-shirts if you don't have a conveyor dryer so thank you for watching if you liked the video or found it helpful be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already because i post videos like this each week and if you're interested in any other products that i show in this video 